Today we're going to be setting our raccoon traps. Uh, in the last video you saw us setting out locations of where we wanted. We have four dog proof traps and let's get to go setting them. This is where we marked last time, and we're gonna walk up a little ways and see what there is. It looks like the two come together about right here. Uh huh. No idea what I'm doing. Try to pull it out. Oh yeah, that buddy's not going anywhere. Well, this is gonna be hard to get out when we actually need it. Yeah, that's oh. pretty cool. No one's right here. It's set and ready to go. I said to fill it up pretty good. I think that's pretty good. Alright. That was the first. <laughs> what are you doing? That was the first trap we've ever set, and I think we did it pretty good. We put bait, we set the anchor, and we set the trap. And I think those are the three main points. Dude, look at the camera. <laughs> Those are good. This is the first trap we've ever set, and uh, we did pretty good. We set the trap, we anchored it, and we put bait, so. High percentage trap, is that what they call it? HPT, baby. We have to come up with a, oh, we have to come up with a better name than high percentage trap. Big juice trap. Big juice? That's the pimple on my butt cheek. Oh, yeah. Do you want to go flip your chair up? Yeah. Did you have me too, or you want to? I can. I have a foot now. We have to go flip the chair because some idiots didn't put it up when I asked them to. So this is our trapping bucket. We got a, we got a hammer to stake stuff down. We got a stake driver here, or an anchor, and then we got, we got, right now we have three more dog proof traps connected to cables, which are connected to anchors, and we have three of those because we just set one, a little bit of fuzz on it, and then we got some 22 ammo. And then we also have one foothold, but we're probably not going to set this because we don't know how to... We're, we're pussies. We don't want to hurt our fingers. And then we got these gloves because... We had these because... Not because we were nuclear, but because I would have to go down like to here in the water. And I just didn't want to get all that muck on me. And, well, I was riding around in my... In my bike and carrying in a five gallon bucket with traps in it and there's some blood on it hammer down the stake with the anchor. yeah you put it in vertically and then the teeth catch when you go to pull it out yeah turns it into an anchor these have loosened up a lot since last time we got them but we're playing around with them And they smell that. I can smell it, can you? Mm -mm. Really? 
The bait surprisingly smells pretty good. It smells sweet. Well, I guess it's cherry marshmallow dog food, but that's the trap. Aggressive more or passive? No, I don't want to have to go in the woods to check it. <laughs> Whew. Good news you can't get hurt on these ones. People know. No. People know things. So we're thinking about setting it right here, and this is where we marked it last time, and there's a bunch of trails up there, but what really grabbed our attention was this right here. Because they're probably going down to get water. There's a ravine right down there, in woods right up here, so. Little thing around the telephone pole. Oh, for Pete's sakes, we have a while. Hit it. So you want to hit it until this is just exposed like it is right now. So then it definitely does not come up. We'll just do a few more. That's good. And then... Oh, God. Golly, get in there, boy. Okay, but like raccoon strength like this, you cannot pull it out. We're just gonna set it right next to it, right? There. You gotta remember, raccoon's not pulling vertically. Just yeah, they're it. pulling to the side, boy. I think you got plenty around it. Get a little more in. That's good. You just wanna you wanna put dog food up just until the you barely cover the trigger. So there's, as you can see, there's a little bit exposed, but not much. And this hammer is terrible, so we're gonna go get a new one. As you can see, it's coming off. <laughs> okay, but this camera definitely does not do justice for how steep this is. No, that's true. For the video where we come to check all of our traps and skin, hopefully. If not, that'll be a boring video, but I don't know, I can't say that. All right, start over. Thank you for watching, and uh, we just set all of our traps. And stay tuned for next weekend's video, where we'll, we'll be checking the traps and making sure it, it will be tomorrow for us, because we have to check them every day. But uh, we'll be out next weekend. And uh, yeah, so make sure to subscribe and help us with our dream to have a raccoon hat.